Hey, good morning. It's Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. It is Sunday, October 18th, so happy Sunday to you today. It is beautiful weather out there. Uh, a lot of y'all dealing with some cold temperatures, so get out there and enjoy that. It's been a, a hot one for a minute. Now, as far as NOAA update, guys, you're not going to see an update here for a, a while. I know y'all probably been watching and figuring out what's going on. This says 30%, and this one finally says 90%, but it's been saying this for quite some time. Now, if you look on the bottom, you'll see it says the chance of formation for the next five days is 90%. So I guarantee you this is not going to go up until they see a center of circulation where you can actually give it a name because they've been really stretching this out. So it's probably going to be like this for the next five days. It could. I mean, there's no telling. But I show in the next seven days is when we have activity. So I don't think they can wait that much longer. Now, to explain to you what's going on. Uh, the reason why, if you notice, not a lot of people did any uploads yet because they don't know really how to describe this information because we're still having issues with the directions of the second one. Now, what it comes down to is right here is your, your wind shear of the 10 meter to 6,000 meters. So you can see the winds have come in with jet stream. You can see the high pinks. Now, the dark pink is 100. So the high pinks is way more than that. So just letting you know there's a lot of vast winds coming through. Now, if you follow this black edge right here, this is the edge of the front. And this is 94L. This is disturbance one. Now, if you notice, we either have to choose. Oh, the weather chooses for us. But the, the, the front coming in, you'll see this poke out and separate the two. And it blocks the second one, disturbance two, from coming northern. That's why y'all been seeing all these turns and twists. And it's like, what's going on? Well, it blocks the first one, Disturbance 1, from coming to the East Coast. And it's headed straight for the Carolinas and Virginia. And then it gets blocked by the, by the front. But by blocking the first one, it makes the second one do a double, maybe even possible triple tap on all the, these lands in the Gulf. I'll show you that in a second. Now, if you look at the next frame over, you'll see what I'm talking about. You watch right here on this black line, and you'll see it protrude in. Now, when it does that, it blocks this pr low pressure from going northern because this is a high pressure, and it's got it blocked. So when it comes through, it has it blocked. Now it has it totally blocked, and it can't make a northern path. So right when it gets by the islands, it's going to get blocked, and then it's going to do something a little tricky, and I'll show you what it looks like so you can see it in motion here comes the first one he was headed to the east coast and then he gets blocked by the front and then being blocked he can't go northern so he takes the next path towards warm water and now it's towards the gulf then the cold front hits it and let me explain that to you because then the cold front hits it and knocks it back now it starts heading to the gulf the gulf don't have a lot of warm waters yet it's pretty much on the edge of it right there uh, but as it goes to the next frame you can see that the storm started getting picked up and pulled by the shear of the jet stream and that was happening with the cold front then it starts sucking up and going towards the direction because the front right here has passed so here's the, 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 the outer boundaries right here and so it can sneak on through uh, and go on up the coast as you see right there it starts hitting Florida again now, if you look at the next shot, you'll see it starts going all the way up the center of Florida. Let me back this up a little bit so you can see a little bit easier. And then as it goes up Florida, it starts curving in, in the Florida panhandle and starts making a direction this way. Now, let me show you just a, few, a little bit so you can see it. See, see how it does that, that curve? Let me see if I can zoom that one in for you. No, I can't get that one for you. But you can see it goes right up on land, right up Florida, and rides right up the, the, the Florida panhandle. So that's not a good thing. But the main reason is because it's getting blocked by the high pressure. But the high pressure blocks the first one. But when it does that, it makes the second one suppress down 
and now it's going it's going to go in the Bahamas and then curve back. And where it goes from there is still not accurate and and uh, knowledgeable for an exact track or intensity. But it does show that it does uh, go towards the Bahamas. It does curve westerly because of the, the front blocking it. And then the cold front that comes with the front blocks it from going any further in the Gulf. So it goes back out, and then it starts going up Florida because that's where the break was in the high pressure. Then it curves in the, in the Florida panhandle. So I don't know if this is even going to uh, make a more easterly pass after that. It should follow it out, but it might burn out in the states right here in the Gulf. It might just be a weak system at that point and just burn out. But here it goes following it, and then it goes up. So we got to watch this closely and see exactly what they're going, what's going on. That's why the Euro is showing a low pressure system right there because that's the end of this low pressure system that got blocked. But before it pops up in that corner, it could hurt the Bahamas and hurt Florida and hurt Cuba as it's making that westerly pass. Now the 12Z is starting to show even more uh, information on the turns. Uh, if you notice, you have uh, one shows, one, 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 uh, path shows that it goes up to 40 knot winds uh, as it passes over Florida which is tropical storm and goes out then it shows two more that goes all the way up to uh, 60 knot winds which is on the edge of being a being a hurricane that's 70 miles an hour but now it's showing instead of just one it's showing three showing that it's going, it's going to make that left turn and that's why because it's getting blocked by the high pressure right up here and it can't go no further north so it just turns and then another one shows the low pressure in the corner of florida so it's still looking like it's more and more of a possibility so it's kind of like a question you got to ask yourself do you want do you want it to block the first one or do you want the high pressure to block the second one me i know what we would all say we want them to block both of them of course but after it passes we'll and, it, and there's an open spot in the ridge, what is it going to do? It has to go northern. The question is, what strength is it going to be uh, at that point? So I'll put it on wind speed so we can kind of get an idea of what we're dealing with here with the winds. And so far, it it's looks like it's weak storm, and then it pops up to 60 miles an hour to a hurricane on the way back. That That's what I've seen on that. Let me show you. Stop you. All right. Where you can see it. Still a hurricane at that point. Now, as soon as it turns and it makes that westerly push, it starts getting immediately almost 64 uh, miles per hour winds uh, tied up in it. And then if you watch it, as it goes, it just gets even more and more stronger. And then it gets weak as it goes to the, to the Florida uh, panhandle. That's what I wanted to show you. So after it hits, hits up with, the, with the, the front and the high pressure blocks it, it's strong the first time it heads towards the Gulf. But when it comes back, because it's getting hit with all this cold air, it, it gets really weak. Watch it look. It gets strong and goes that westerly push. It's strong, but when it gets hit with this cold, bam. Then it goes back towards, it looks like it towards Tampa area. It looks pretty strong, but it don't, don't look like it used to look. Now, 94L, the main problem with 94L is it can't get straight up and down. It can't get a center circulation. Now, you can see the center is right here, but the center of the storms is way up here. So it's very much lopsided. Uh, if you take a look, you can see it. Here's your center of rotation down here, and here's your center uh, of, the, of the, the, the infrared of the, the tops of it, and it don't have uh, straight up and down, so it's definitely lopsided, so it can't hold no strength, so it can't get a formation yet, it's struggling, it's really struggling, um, but if you look on, on the GFS model for vorticity, you know, I showed you, I'm going to show you both 18Z and 12Z, and both of those are showing that we have problems uh, with this pressure getting past uh, the high pressure and making it out to the ocean. It's both showing that it's getting blocked and it's going to go back into the Bahamas or back towards Florida or Cuba or the Gulf. Here goes the first one. Here's disturbance one. Disturbance two comes up. 
gets blocked by the high pressure. It has nowhere else to go. It has to go back towards warm waters. Now the 18Z didn't show the golf. <clears throat> now the 12Z, the 12Z shows that the curve back is back towards the golf and not back towards uh, Cuba. Because that would be a double hit on Cuba if, if that was true. So here's the first disturbance. It goes up and here's the high pressure sneaking in right here. It blocks it like a wall. Then it shoots back. On a 12Z, it goes back to the Gulf, then goes back to Florida and then towards uh, Florida Panhandle. The 18Z shows it goes back towards Cuba. So as far as what's going to happen with the track of these storms, I mean, of course, we, we need more time. But the question is, what is this high pressure going to do? If the high pressure moves in sooner, it's going to block it sooner, and then it's going to have the Gulf effect. If the high pressure moves in uh, in a... In a blocks it later in the path then it's going to go back towards cuba and it won't affect florida uh or or the or gulf or florida panhandle it will aff affect you know bahamas first before it before it turns and then cuba again sorry to say cuba but that that's the effects so it go it goes by the high pressure we got to watch this high pressure and the timing of when it meets disturbance one because when it blocks disturbance one it's also going to suppress disturbance too. So if it gets blocked in the beginning of the high pressure track, then it's going to go, uh, then it's going to go back uh, towards the uh, Gulf Gulf of Mexico. Now, that way, it has a longer path, and then it comes back up to Florida, uh, Florida Panhandle towards the end. Now, if it if it meets up with the end of the high pressure blocking it, then it's going to go back towards Cuba. So we got to pay attention to which one is going to be the actual track and like like you see with noah they they need more time as well so they, they don't, they're waiting to see what happens as, as well with this high pressure it's, it's been since the beginning the cold front's been disturbed been, been uh determining determined sorry determine what's uh what's going to be the outcome of these storms I mean, we know it's going to block the first one second one's still a mystery it depends if it's the beginning or the end of the high pressure when it meets uh, I'd like to read to you today the third uh, ep apostle of epistle of John. I don't know if y'all ever read this one before. The elder unto the well, well beloved Gaius, whom I loved in the truth. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. For I rejoiced greatly when the brethren came and testified of the truth that is in thee. Even as thou walkest in the truth, I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. Beloved, thou doest faithfully whatsoever thou doest to the brethren and to strangers, which have borne witness of thy charity before the church, wh whom is thou bring forward on their journey after a godly sort, thou shalt do well. Because that, for his name's sake, that they went forth taking nothing of the Gentiles. We therefore ought to receive such that we, that we might be fellow, uh, fellow helpers to the truth. I wrote unto the church, but Diotrephes, who loveth to have the, the permanence among them, receiveth us not. Wherefore, if I come, I will remember his deeds which he doeth, prating against us with malicious words, and not content, uh, therewith neither doeth he himself receive the brethren and forbiddeth them that world and casteth them out of the church beloved follow not that which is evil but that which is good he that doeth good is of good is of god sorry but he that doeth evil have not seen god demetrius have good report of all men and of all and of and of the truth itself Yea, and we also bear record, and ye know that our record is true. I had many things to write, but I will not with I will not with ink and pen write unto thee. But I trust I shall I shall shortly see thee, and we shall speak face to face. Peace be to thee, our friends. Salute thee. Greet the friends by name. Amen. So God bless you all. I hope you all have a, a great day today. It is going to be a beautiful day. 
as far as these storms, guys, we got to watch this high pressure. If the second disturbance hits the first uh, beginning part of the high pressure, when it moves in, so if it still continues to move in quickly and low to the southeast, it's going to block it and go in the Gulf and then come back and do a double hit on, on so, somewhere in the, in the Gulf, probably Florida. Uh, if, it's, if it's Florida uh, panhandle, it could possibly even go over to Georgia or Alabama. If it hits later in a, in a high pressure, then it's going to get bounced back towards Cuba again and probably go out to the Yucatan and go out to the, to the Pacific Ocean. So we got to wait on the high pressure, guys. Bless you all. I hope you have a great day. I appreciate you for watching. Share if you have someone that's in this path. Thank you so much for that. Have a good day. All glory does go to God. Amen.